What one thing do you want to say to the agents out there who are potentially want to come along to the EA Masters? <laughs> Well, the EA Masters has got three component parts to it. We've got an innovation hall and we've got 50 different people exhibiting. And this year, we've created an enterprise zone specifically for smaller startup prop tech type businesses. So agents can come along and, and meet with some of the bigger uh, uh, companies and, and hear about their latest products and services, but also get a really good feel and flavour for some of the new stuff that's coming through and some amazing things that, that, that are coming through uh, um, in, in, this, in this field. The second part of it is the seminar series. And we've got, I think, I mean, last year we were told it was the best ever by so many people. The property industry I write up was, was incredible. That, um, the, I, I went to some of them and that blew me away. Thank you. Well, I thought it was, uh, we, were, we were really pleased with it. Again, being... being because you're getting people from both within the industry, but also from out of the industry, giving a different perspective. Completely, completely. So from within the industry this year, I'm going to just give you a couple. We've got Josh Vegan returning, and, and Josh is just, just, you know, he's just, a, just one of these guys that agents you know, really relate to. But he's bringing with him Alexander Phillips. Now, Alex Phillips, last year, listed and sold properties in Sydney that earned him a personal commission of $10 million. Right. And he, he goes, I've, I've, I've been down, I've met with Alex in Australia, and I've, I've shadowed him for a couple of days, and I've seen how he goes about his work. And one of the things that's particularly notable is that every single Saturday morning, without exception, he meets with Josh Vegan for like a tune-up prior to the biggest day of the week in the state agency. So here's a guy doing 10 million, getting weekly coaching from Australia's best coach. So we've got the pair of them, and on the 11th of October, they're going to do a masterclass together. But Alex is going to... day, yeah, two day, yeah. So Alex is going to, is, is going to show on the, on the 11th of uh, October what he does personally. On the 12th, he's going to talk about how he's now building a team and how he's now enabling others to come up to his... His, his sort of level of performance. So the first day is a workshop, very interactive workshop, where we can actually go, so how do you go about listing properties? How do you go about What, with takeaway things? things that they can do from... Completely. And we've, we've just said, look, we want to we really understand, you know, how do you go about it? What is, you know, what is the way that you actually prepare for uh, a market appraisal? How do you actually negotiate offers? How do you make... And so on. So it's real practical stuff. And on day two, on the, on, the, on, the, on the bigger of the two days, on the 12th of October, uh, where we have the Innovation Hall, and we've also got the awards, which I'll touch on a second again, we have the um, uh, Alex and Josh doing a, right, this is how the build, business is building. But you mentioned people from outside the industry, and one in particular we've managed to secure is Robin Clifford, who'll not mean anything probably to any of you, but he's the head of uh, operations for Airbnb in Europe. And I've, I took my summit group, uh, uh, in 2017 to San Francisco and we actually uh, visited amongst other businesses uh, we, actually, we actually visited the headquarters of Airbnb and everyone su seems to think Airbnb is a disruptive travel uh, business that it, it actually I, I look on it as the world's largest lettings agency they've actually had 300 million check-in and check-outs in the last 10 years since they started. 300 million. Think about it that way. And, well, they're in 191 countries now. What, and what, did they, what did you learn from that, that you can pass that through to the guys? Um, well, I think, I think the, fun, the, 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 the key fundamental that, that Airbnb have is, is, a, is a sense of understanding, the, 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 the truly understanding the needs of both parties. So they're acting for the, what they call the hosts, the people whose homes they're, they're letting, for, albeit for a short let, and they understand the guests, what we may refer to as tenants, who are coming in for, for, to, to stay. And what they've done is they've gone from being transactional um, to becoming much more around the experience. So, so in the same way for a state agent, what would I learn from Airbnb? It would be to say, move from being transactional towards being much more the trusted go-to person for anything that's properly related. Do you think we are transactional as an industry? Maybe we could talk about in another video, actually. Yeah. I, think, I, think we, I think too many agents are. There are some very good ones who get it, who understand that it's about actually solving... Josh Beacon has this uh, lovely idea. He asks the question, what is the problem? What is, it, what, what is the customer problem that you are there to solve? Right. And it's on the face of it, they want to sell their house or they let their house. But it's 
Actually, probably not that. It's probably, they want to get their kids into a certain school, right? Or they're splitting up and they're going their separate ways. Or they're expecting another uh, addition to the family and they want to get the house, uh, the new property set up with the bedroom all ready for when the baby's born. And life stuff. Those are the problems that they have. Moving is just their means to facilitate the, the solution to the life stage that they're at. And I think we, uh, as an industry, I'm generalising across the whole piece now, but as an industry, and our research would back this up, we're far, far too concerned about yields and price increases and interest rates and mortgage costs. I mean, those are factors. Don't get me wrong, they are factors. But the key reason why anybody moves home is principally around their life stage. It's principally around, they want to do things, they want to be good parents, you know, they, 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 want, they, want, to, they want to live the best lifestyle they can, or they're downsizing to give their kids a deposit to enable them to get on the ladder. It's, 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 it's emotional drivers, and I think we've got to make sure that we understand and are, and are approaching those emotional drivers in the right way. Maybe we can talk about that in another video. Love to. Thank you. Okay, Peter.